Work of cameras aimed at improving crime in Metro Atlanta. Flock safety cameras popping up in cities across America. There are more than 3,000 in Atlanta alone. And they're automated license plate readers, which the company claims can reduce crime by 70%. But civil liberties groups say the trade-off for your privacy just isn't worth it. CBS 46's Zach Summers explains. Practically in every city in Metro Atlanta. More and more police departments and neighborhoods are turning to automated license plate readers or ALPRs to catch and prevent criminals from running amok. I mean, it really is huge for us. Snellville Police Detective Jeff Manley says the stationary cameras created by Atlanta-based Flock Safety have made policing more effective. Almost all crimes involve mobility, so this is, this is really helping us narrow down uh, where the criminals are and where they're moving. The department has about a dozen flock cameras across the city with potential access to thousands when tracking a suspect. It shows you which camera, which direction is going to date. When the readers detect a stolen vehicle or a vehicle tied to a warrant or amber alert, flock sends an alert to police in the area. Homeowner associations have also found the technology useful. Uh, we're a nice little enclave. It's one inch. Graham Wood lives in the vineyards. He and his neighbors installed an ALPR at the entrance to their subdivision in 2019 after a rash of porch pirate incidents. It's an outer layer of security for us. Despite a sense of security, critics say this kind of technology can create more problems than they solve. It is straight up surveillance. And Dave Moss is with Electronic Frontier Foundation. It's a nonprofit that advocates for technology that supports freedom and justice. He says ALPRs not only present privacy concerns, there's also a lack of oversight, as well as the potential for data breaches, harassment, and mistakes. These technologies are prone to error. That was the case last fall in Aurora, Colorado. <laughs> There's kids. Police pulled over a black family, guns drawn, cuffed them all, including the minors, because an ALPR thought the vehicle they were in was stolen. The reader was wrong. I don't believe that the useful in crime is worth the trade-off to people's privacy and civil liberties. Flock's founder and CEO, Garrett Langley, says he agrees with the criticism, but he stands behind his creation. We should be really conscious of the decisions we're making, but I think if we're focused on objectivity, we're focused on transparency, and we're seeing real results, we should keep moving forward. Now in over 40 states and countless cities, this network of crime prevention cameras appears to only be gaining traction. Uh, it's just a modern progression. Zach Summers, CBS 46 News. Now, CBS 46.